Oh, I love hot dogs. I just love hot dogs. Just like Mama used to make. So I have a very simple scene right now. I have this hot dog mesh that I created. I want to take a bite of this hot dog. And there's a couple ways to go about it. But the easiest way, creating a version of the hot dog like I did here, that is one with a bite taken out of it. I went into edit mode and I just, you know, grabbed about that much, deleted it, and I just sort of reconstructed the mesh a little bit. And the trick here is really just changing between the meshes. So as you can see, I have, uh, I have my geometry nodes and one bite, everyone does the roll. If I hit one, it looks like I just took a bite of it. So let's take a look at the geometry nodes and how this works. So if I go in here, my geometry nodes editor, I literally have two nodes in here. So let's just recreate this here. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to use our handy switch node, which if you remember from the stop motion mouth tutorial, this is basically just an if statement. This switch just says, hey, we have a condition here, and if this condition is true, we're gonna output a mesh over here. And if it's false, we'll output the mesh that's in here. And it's not just for meshes, it's for any of these things. So you can output a material or a texture, all these different input types. In this case, we wanna switch between two different pieces of geometry. Now, I like to name them, so it's just super easy to read. So I hit F2, and I can rename this label, and I'll say, Byte Taken. We will have a true geometry. I can easily just go up here on my outliner, and I can grab the object I want, and just drag it on in there. And now I have the object I want to reference, which is the eaten bit. Let's take a look. Let's plug the geometry in and just see here. So this is the geometry of the, of the hot dog eaten mesh. If I plug the geometry directly into true, and I put this output back here, we, we now have our statement. So we say, if a bite was taken, we will show the hot dog eaten mesh. And if it was not taken, we'll show the original one, which is still the hot dog. As you can see, I can just plug this. I can check box. Hit the checkbox here. Oh, yep, it's working. So we actually want to access this condition. This is called the condition outside of the geometry nodes over here. So I can just connect this up to the input. And anything in this group input is going to show over here. So as you can see, we have a switch from 0. Or if I turn it to 1, it will have a byte taken out of it. It's helpful to rename these to keep it clean. I'm just going to call this byte taken. If you wanted to, you could you could basically follow the same method as my stop motion mouse series, and um, you could make a series of bites taken out of the hot dog. Okay, one important note is that because we're doing multiples now, multiple bites, we actually have to create those bites again. So we already made um, one version of this. I'm just going to make another one here. And I'm going to go through and just just cut it down a little more. Okay, so now I have an actual even smaller version of the hot dog as well to, to work off of now. So that might actually just look something like this. So instead of having this one byte thing be uh, a boolean, I can just get rid of that. And I can just make a new input and I'll call this an integer and I'll name it bytes. See? So I'll get rid of this hot dog eaten here and I'll just have a switch. So we, we're gonna have three states. We'll rename this full hot dog one bytes. And then I'll duplicate it again, two bytes. Cool, we can join all these together. So we're gonna make a condition node group here, one that plugs into all of these. So I'm gonna add a math node here. This is one I use a lot. And I'm gonna change this to compare. And what this does is this, this takes a look at these two values. This says, hey, we have value A and value B. Are these values close enough together within a threshold of epsilon, within this number? You can say, oh, this is five. And as long as these two values are within five units from each other, it's gonna be true. But I like to use this node by setting epsilon to zero. And this is saying, are these two numbers exactly the same? We're gonna have a value here. So this is gonna say how many bytes were taken, right? We have another variable that says, what byte is this? 
Bite zero should be the full hot dog because no bites have taken. Bite one will, will refer to the hot dog with one bite taken out of it, and bite two will be the hot dog with two bites taken out of it. So I can just control G this here, and in our group input, we don't need epsilon because that's going to always be zero. Byte, and the bottom value to be bytes, and these are just going to be integers. And it's going to output a true or false. And this here is our condition. So if I go back, I can get rid of these here, and now we have a condition. Under the node and then properties, I'm going to call this. We need a condition for all of these. So I'm just going to duplicate it around here. Like we said, the full hot dog will, will be byte zero. The first byte will be byte one. And, this, and two bytes will refer to byte two. All we have to do is connect this bytes number to the bytes. We can connect all of our conditions up to each individual switch or condition value. So here we go, the moment we've been waiting for. The full hot dog, in this case, it is just the geometry. So I'm gonna set that for true. Since it's byte zero, we're reflecting that over here, it's gonna show. But if I go to byte one, nothing's gonna show. And same with byte two. So I'm just gonna drag them in from up here, hot dog one. This is a hot dog bite one, and I'll put that in true. And I'll drag hot dog two in here as well, and I'll plug that into the two bytes. Duplicate it again, and I'll just drag it right down over here. And I'm gonna call this bite three. And bite three will actually finish off the hot dog, so we don't even need to plug anything into here. We can just have it empty, empty, empty. And now whenever I connect that up, bite three finishes the hot dog, so. One byte, two bytes, three bytes, you're done. So that's switch nodes. That's using geometry nodes to create something you can eat or take a bite out of in Blender. Go check me out on Instagram. Show me your work over there. Give me a follow and uh, send me the work you make. I love seeing it. Just drop a comment below. Say hi, say what's up, and uh, I'll see you soon.